In this video, we're gonna see how to build a high pass filter, and uh, after that, we'll run simulation to see how it works. So, a simple high pass filter only needs a capacitor and the register. So, we'll start from there. We'll find a capacitor, we'll put it over here. Uh, we also need a register, so simple register. We'll put it over here. I'll turn it this way because of the connection needed. Uh, we all, of course, need a AC voltage source. So I'll put it here. And now, uh, basically, all these are all three components we need for our basic um, high pass filter. So I'm just going to connect those. Um, with wires so see this pull sign comes up when they go there and then i'll just go and connect and that's about it so now i can change the voltage so for example i want um for example 10 volt so i'll put 10 um since it's a high pass so um let's put a very high frequency 20,000 hours so it's a high frequency coming in the capacitor register uh, capacitance is um, 1 microfarad and the register is 1 kilo ohm so for high pass filter and and low pass filter the difference is for high pass filter you have to take the voltage out from the um, um, from the, from the register and for the low pass filter, you have to take the voltage uh, out from the um, capacitor. So um, we have to do reading of the voltage. So we're reading voltage before the capacitor. And we want after. So I click the V minus and then after. We'll do it again. So finding the voltage from here. Um, putting the first one on the line. I'm clicking on the V minus. And um, so it, what it does, it shows you the reference from the last point to the first point. So these are the voltage drop we're going to see. And now we're going to run simulation. So when uh, it's running, the simulation should show in the graph. Um, so it's pretty. Uh, so I can zoom in and out from here. Um, I can stop. And now you can see that uh, if we see split view, and I'll hide this screen. So what it is showing is that the green line is the voltage drop across the capacitor. And then the blue line, or blue curve, is the voltage drop across the uh, register. Now when we are passing a very high uh, frequency of voltage source, so it's a, um, the voltage drop for high frequency is very low across the capacitor. And since we are tapping the power or taking the power out, or the voltage output will be series with the registers, that the register has almost 10 equal to the source voltage. So uh, we are getting um, the total source uh, voltage out from the register. So this is acting as a high pass uh, filter. So what, now we have to see that whether it is when the frequency is low, does it act as a filter? So now we're putting only two hertz, and the remaining uh, frequent, uh, capacitance and the register is the same. The voltage is also the same. Only the thing is that the um, frequency has changed. So we'll run the simulation again, and um, we, we're seeing some change in the voltages. So we'll stop, and I'll try to zoom out. Um, now you see on the V, the green color, the voltage drop is almost 10 and on the voltage drop across the register is very small near zero. So if I reduce frequency further, then it will be almost zero. So what's happening here, since we are still taking the power out, uh, output voltages across the register, now the voltage drop across the register is almost zero and the entire voltage drop is across the capacitor. Since we are taking power out uh, across the um, register, so for low frequency, I'm not get a, getting any voltage drop on my output. Uh, and that's how it is blocking or filtering 
the lower frequency. So this is the simple circuit of a high pass filter and this is the simulation of how it works.